Alright, everybody ready? Yeah. Welcome to the back deck battle that took place uh, this past Sunday at the Tracy household. Jeremy starts out with a uh, open 20 to get things started. In this match you'll see we've got uh, Jeremy Tracy and Roy Campbell playing against Simon Dowrick and Ron Langell. And uh, yeah, I'll explain a little later on what's uh, why this match is taking place. But uh, right now, Jeremy misses on a uh, bit of a hanger 20. Creates an opportunity for Simon to do an angle in 20. Simon does a great job angling in. Doesn't quite come in all the way into the 20, but he did a good job getting into the 15. Campbell chooses to keep play outside, which is a really good idea, making it uh, making it tough on the opponents. Nice shot. Jeremy drains a nice angle in 20, making the the 20 20 advantage a little bigger. Nice. Campbell adds to the pile. As this goes on, you'll see that uh, Simon and Ron are absolutely fantastic at open 20s. Oh, great takeout by Jeremy, and he leaves it in a fantastic spot, leaving Simon almost no opportunity to angle in off of that, just because of the position between the, the button and the peg. But it uh, sounds like Ron and Simon are uh, having a little chat about doing that. An assist. So Simon's going to attempt to knock the white button in closer to that 20 hole to set Ron up for a uh, a 20 on his next shot. It's really good. Uh, it's one of the great things about 20s. You see a lot more strategy going on. Simon executes perfectly. If you look at this, uh, Roy Campbell now has a shot, and and uh, there's really no opportunity for him to move that 20 and make a valid shot. It's a pretty high risk. Yeah, he's saying he thinks you know, it's pretty high risk, which is probably a bit of an understatement. Ron capitalizes on that angle in 20 that Simon set up for him. Jeremy with the angle in 20, but he just came up a little short. So the angle was great, but he needed a little more, uh, little more weight on his shot. Again, like I say, the great thing about 20s, uh, you get a lot of uh, strategy conversations going on. That's exactly what's happening here. They're talking about what's uh, what's the what's their best approach. Nice, I like it. Great spot. Again, Ron's draining another 20. They're uh, just deadly on the 20s. A lot of pressure here. Nice start. Jeremy nice drains shot. that one. So we're uh, Jeremy and Jeremy Tracy and Roy Campbell back in pretty good shape in this round. My next video. Oh no! Sorry. Tough, uh, tough angle for Simon Dowrick there. He uh, catches the peg on the way in. Roy likes to do what uh, some people will call the Conrad. It's John Conrad is famous for doing this. Rather than going for the 20, all he wanted to do was make sure that uh, he wasn't setting Ron up for any kind of a 20. So Roy and uh, Roy and Jeremy squeak out the first round. They're up 2-0. This is a uh, this is a race to nine. What happened was we had uh, eight players get together on our on the back deck and. Um, did a full round robin. We're going to do another video to explain uh, how exactly we conducted that, the way it works. But basically, essentially, you're playing doubles, but you're competing as an individual. And then uh, these four players you see on the table right now had the had the top four scores. So this was the kind of the final of the day. But anyway, Simon started with an open twenty, and then uh, Roy was just a little off, and there's Ron just a little off. So uh, yeah. May sound strange, but after after a few months of not playing competitive crokinole, it, it gets a little rusty. It's a little rusty around the board, so it's probably the probably the best, most competitive crokinole most of these players have played in probably a year and a half. So, uh, oh, 
Just a just a hair oh, off on that one. This is <laughs> greatest goals never scored. What? <laughs> yeah, they're having a good chuckle at themselves now. This is interesting because uh, at this point Simon's fairly well set up for a 20. It's not going to be an easy 20, but there's that white hanger there, so uh, Tracy's trying to figure out how to disrupt that, maybe come off a peg. Crazy comes in Not a not a terrible outcome, made it a little more difficult for Simon to come in. He's going to be forced to come up the up the line. Drains it, that evens the 20 counter for one piece. Get it. Try. Roy going for the follow through 20 again, just a, just a titch off. Oh, great double take out by Ron Langell right there. Let's see, there may be a touch 20. Oh, Jeremy misses that touch 20. Just a, just a little off. So at this point, we're tied in the 20s. Tied on the board as well, but uh, Simon makes an error there, loses everything off the board. Although uh, Roy doesn't have a fantastic opportunity, he's going to have to try to come in and uh, I don't know if he's going to try to come in for a 20 or if he's going to try to hide behind that peg. Uh, it's a little bit too far in the open. A little bit hidden, but Ron's pro yeah, Ron's got that. So now. Uh, Still tied in the 20s, but uh, ah, Ron and Simon are definitely in control of the board here. Oops. Boy, now you can hide. Ah, Roy's going to try the hide again. That is a much better hide. He's going to be forced to go down Hogan's Alley, oh, which he go. does. Yeah. That's a start. 2 1 in the 20 count. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, oh, and Roy comes up a little short. I can't even say that was a titch off. That was a that was a big titch off. Oh, oh, that's tough. That's uh, oh, Jeremy needed that to tie the round. He came up just that little bit short. So now the match is tied two to two. And uh, you can tell how serious the players are taking this. They're having a good, uh, a good chuckle. But uh, okay. you know you're having good crokinole. You're uh, having a good crokinole match when it's coming down to that last shot or two to determine the round. There we go. Roy Campbell starts out with an open twenty. Ron answers. Oh, a little fly trying to get in on the action here. It's one of the one of the bonuses of playing outside. Players are getting their groove on now. Oh, and Simon is the first to miss. That is uh, that is unusual. That's not very away. Uh, yeah, and Roy uh, Roy didn't get the off. Andy didn't get away. So Ron's gonna Ron's gonna make him pay for that. That evens the 20 count. Maybe an angle in here for Campbell, but he's probably going to be forced to try to. Whoa, yep, he did. He went after there. the tag. Perfect <laughs> angle. Specific. Just a little bit short. Now, we're back to tied in the 20 cup, I believe. You can work with that. Oh, that was uh, that was unfortunate right there. But uh, tied in the twenty cap. There's two white pieces on, but let's see what Landro goes for here. Ron's so excited he kicked the uh, he kicked the boom tripod that's holding the overhead camera. So between between Ron kicking the between Ron kicking the oh wow oh he drove that straight through there and missed everything yeah Jeremy drains that twenty now that changes things oh 
Yeah, take really out from Ro from uh, from Simon, but he loses a shooter, which is giving Roy another shot at an open 20 here. I like it. Which he comes up long, but it's not a bad place to be because Ron has very little to work with. The one on the outside is not in a great position to angle in, and the one on the inside, they're touching the line. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, Ron's proven me wrong. It wasn't, uh, I guess he was able to angle in, but not to the, not all the way to the 20 hole. No. Tracy loses his shooter. They're kind of uh, <laughs> a little bit of friendly trash talking going yeah, on around the table. When you get uh, <laughs> get players together that are are uh, pretty even in caliber and uh, and good friends, there's some fair bit of teasing goes on around the board, which just adds to the fun. Oh, that silly old spinning disc rule. Because that did cross the line, but it's not its not whether it crosses the line or not, it's where it ends up, and that clearly ended up back inside. That uh, that five could become significant later. Oh, it did. Yeah, not getting that off made all the difference, because that, that round ended up tied, whereas if, uh, if Jeremy had gotten that button off, then they would have won that round by a nickel. So we're tied 3-3 at this point in the race to nine. So uh, yeah, I guess you could say it's a fairly tight match. There's Ron Langel starts with a, an open 20. Jeremy misses. He missed, but it's not a terrible spot. Oh, Simon makes me eat those words as he drains a 20 off that. Roy was going for the bump. <laughs> Roy was going for the bump and run, but he came up a little short, and uh, yeah. So Ron and Simon are up two twenties at this point, and very much in control of this round. But there's lots of discs left in this round. Oh, wow! Tracy and Campbell are putting one gaff after another, stringing them together. Same shot as last time, would it? It worked. It worked out. The, the old put it off the peg. <laughs> Not sure if Roy was going for a 20 there or going for uh, going for a double. The old Ron would do but, it. Uh, they're uh, they're trying to talk Ron into going for a drop back 20. It's a little far away, so he uh, he elects to try to get away a little bit. Now uh, Tracy and Gamble are trying to use the assist. As Tracy bumps it in and uh, to set Campbell up for his. For a 20 on his next shot, uh, Simon and uh, Simon and Ron are talking about okay, how are they gonna how are they gonna disrupt this? Let's see how this goes. Is either gonna be fantastic or a disaster? Uh, yeah. He got what he wanted. He wanted to touch that white one, but it's where he left his shooter wasn't exactly what he was after. So nice. There's Campbell draining the 20. So now the two to one in the 20 cup. Holy cow. Ron a little off there, he actually touched the tag on the way in. Tracy decided to take that one out in the five because he didn't want to, he didn't want to Campbell to have to shoot all the way across the board on a future shot. Sorry Ron, that was a terrible miss. I like it. The pressure, the pressure. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you knock his arm, it'll be so. Uh, do you want me to hit this and then hit off of this? Yeah, the old Ron would do it. Uh, <laughs> the new Simon would do it. The new Simon. Would more, more banter between the players trying to talk Ron into going for a hail mary shot when he really doesn't need to. All right, I think Tracy's going to go for the angle in. Ah, oh, he went for the angle in and the twenty. He got the double, but he was really hoping to drop the twenty on that shot as well. So. That would have brought them back to even in the 20 yeah, count, so that would have been a huge shot if you could have made that. Simon going after the drift 20. Simon, if there's a 20 on the board, Simon's going after it. There's not, there's not much, uh, not much defense in his mind. He's going for it. Nobody wants to hear me. 
is wrong with you? <laughs> more foolishness. I think there's more foolishness in this match than there is uh, highlights. But yeah, Roy's in a, in a situation he's really got to go for here. So he's going to try to catch a peg after, after getting the off. There's an angle here. Oh, it was a that was reaching. That uh, that was a tough angle. Almost dropped it, but unfortunately set uh, set Simon up for a. Oh, Simon doesn't capitalize on that either. Oh, what? <laughs> Roy does manage to drop the 20, but he doesn't get the off. If he needed the off in order to tie another round, which would have brought it to 4-4. Oh, but you saw that funny bounce uh, ends up so leaving the opponent's button on for 15 points, which was the difference in the round. So now they are up 5-3. to three. Yet another round that came down to the last couple of shots in order to determine it. So that's, a, that's always a good thing. What we don't have footage of is the uh, the other match that's going on because the other four players, the ones that finished five through eight, they ended up squaring off on the on the other table. So uh, we can hear them, but we can't see them. Off to a tough start in this round. Nobody seems to be able to hunt down that twenty. Oh boy! That didn't work. Yeah, you gotta play this one. Oh yeah? <laughs> you don't have to. I mean, I was gonna shoot it over twenty, but. <laughs> Oh, Tracy loses the shooter. That is not good. That leaves Simon with an open 20, which, true to form, he drains that one as well. Roy coming up a little short. They're really digging a hole now because it's set Ron up quite nicely. Oh, Ron does not capitalize on that. It's surprising that the defending Patty Fest champions are struggling in this game. Oh, that's the problem. Ooh. Just a little off again, setting Simon up for yet another 20. They are up two pointers to zero. Three to one on the 20s. Oh, again, just a little off. Can be a game of millimeters sometimes, because uh, yeah, sometimes a miss like that can be a 40-point swing. Because rather than a 20 for the, the white team, it ends up setting up the setting up the opponents. And see, if, I, I say that it's not a, it's certainly not an easy, not an, the angle of it was not easy for Simon to work with, and he didn't he wasn't able to uh, drain the 20. Now Roy's going to need to get creative, try to catch that button, catch a peg, come back. Uh, which he did, it was really good, just uh, the weight and the angle were both just a tiny bit off, but the thought was there. Ron makes him pay for that, drains in, I think Tracy's going to try to move that, move that white one away, yeah, which he does. Rather than just drain an open 20, he didn't want to leave Simon set up with uh, with that one so close to the hole. So, oh, Simon still almost drains a 20 off of that. Like I can say he is he hunts for 20s just left and right. <laughs> Campbell going for it all, trying to go through his own. Ron does not get the off, but uh, just the angle is going to create such a funny shot. Yeah, Tracy needed to try to catch that peg, which is, yeah, it's a Hail Mary shot, but uh, this late in the round, they're running out of, running out of options here. Roy again was hunting for a peg and missed it. So yeah, Simon and Ron are up uh, seven to three at this point. 
If you've watched Crokinole Centre, you may have seen uh, Ron Langell did compete in the Accelerate tournament that happened late in 2019. He was the 11th ranked NCA player that was able to attend that tournament. But Simon is one you may not have seen. He's just, uh, just over the last couple of years, he's taken advantage of the taken advantage of the lockdown. Spent a lot of time shooting 20s at his house, so I know his his open 20 percentage is just off the chart, and that is so tough to beat. And oh, there, I must have jinxed him. He missed on that one, but uh, yeah. At this point, it's they're tied 3-3 in the 20 cup. Tracy Tate gets the off from the far side of the board, but he did actually leave Simon with a fantastic angle, which he just drains. That puts them up 4-3 in the 20s. And Roy misses on that one. That was yeah. not the time to miss. But uh, Ron's given him a chance to come back in it. Tracy's going to go for the drop back 20, but he also really wanted to get the off. Yeah. Back to tied in the 20 cup. Oh. Simon went for the bump and run and just put a little too much bump on that run. Oh, that was uh, that was not what Ron was after. Pretty much cleaned everything off there. I think Tracy's going to go for a high. He wants to wants to get that off and leave the white disc in the spot. That's just he wants to. Uh, he just wants to be a pain for for Simon, which he certainly didn't leave Simon an angle in, but he also didn't get the off, which isn't necessarily the best thing. Because now they're digging a hole, they've got uh, two brown discs on at this point. Oh! <laughs> oh! You were trying to bring it over there, right? I, 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 I don't even. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say with that. That was. A, <laughs> that was a, a TSM turning point of this round. That's for sure. So uh, yeah, Tracy needs to pull something wild out here. I, I don't know what he's got. Not much. Well, I mean, we need it, right? We're down a 20. We're down a 20. But we'll save that for later. Okay. Okay, then an assist. Yeah. I'd love to give an assist. Campbell and Tracy are talking about if doing an assist. Because, yeah, they're down a 20. Awesome, they're in deep. They lose this round and it's done. Unless I... Oh, that's an idea. They're getting super, uh, <laughs> super optimistic at that point. They were trying to knock the brown one off a peg in toward the center hole to set uh, to set Roy up for a future twenty. Okay, okay. Even after all this, he does not trust you. Perfect. Okay, which one do you like best? And Brown's got three buttons on. No, you're right. If I played that shot and it was too soft, we'd take. Now, if anybody can pull off a double or a triple, it's Roy Campbell. He, uh, he shoots with a lot of power, and uh, he's not afraid to go for shots that most players want. Yep, that's all we got. Got the double, not the triple. Yeah, but oh, but he's got to do that in a 20 yeah. so yeah, the brown is uh, <clears throat> is up in the 20 counts. What they're talking about here is... <clears throat> oh, he's got yeah, at this more. point, Tracy needs to yeah. get an angle in 20 to tie. Because that would leave him tied in the 20 the cup, and they'd each have five on the board. The but neither of those is right. set up really well i was trying Unless to be so perfect with that i don't think you can get him yeah, from that one or that one or yeah that's neither of those is very good what i'm wondering well, is what happens if all i take across to here what i'm wondering if i take both of my buttons if they'll you know oh. I mean? that's the only thing i can think yeah if you shoot into into yours yeah so yeah, big team debate here in desperation mode hail mary time <laughs> 
they need to tie this round, at least tie this round in order to extend the match. And uh, what happens if, if you get your shooter close enough behind one of your uh, one of your buttons when you shoot it, both will go. But uh, sadly, one of the whites went off, and yeah. Most importantly, Ron and Simon whooped us, whooped uh, Tracy and Campbell nine to three. So look for those guys in future videos. Thanks for watching, and uh, make it a great day. I didn't think we were playing terrible, but we were playing our best.